Hello folks, as I promised, I was going to talk about the chakras today. I'm having a <clears throat> challenging time because I had um, my wrist surgery, so working with one hand is kind of hard. But anyway, welcome to my chakra basic live chat. <clears throat> and the seven chakras are known. Hey Nick, thank you for joining in. Hey Phil, how you doing? How's everything? Thanks for joining in. Um, the seven chakras are known. Um, hey, Patricia. Hey, Bohani Phoenix. Hi. How are you? Hey, Jeannie. What's up, girl? Anyway, the seven chakras are known by different names. But thank you, Phil. Thank you, Phil. It's good seeing you, too. I'm going to swing by your store when I get better. I want to see you. Um, anyway, um, the seven chakras are known by different names, but essentially they are the wheels of energy in our body, in our system, and they're located in, uh, strategic areas of the body, starting from here all the way down, and, um, allowing the organs to work correctly for the body to heal when it needs to, and there are seven chakras, and I'm going to talk about them and their meanings, but I wanted to show you guys this, I don't know if you can see it, okay it's the endocrine system and the chakra system now as you know the endocrine system is in the physical body and the chakra system is the spiritual body now oh thank you <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much i appreciate that i'm glad you like the way i sing before I got into this field, I actually uh, was a professional singer. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Anyway, like I was saying, the endocrine system is the physical body. The chakra system is the spiritual body. And when you look at these two systems together, they, they correlate. This is the physical and this is the spiritual. And when there is a physical um, issue, challenge in the body... You're going to feel it in the chakra system. And if there's something off in the chakra system, it's going to be felt in the physical body because they correlate together if you see this. And this is a cute little, um, this is a cute little chart my best friend made for me. She's always helping me out with stuff. Um, so there you go. Okay. Physical endocrine system, spiritual chakra system. Now I work with both of these. I work with the physical and the spiritual so i wanted to talk a little bit about the chakra system which is more spiritual um because i'm always talking about um the physical body so i want to get into this because this is something that i worked on myself during my healing journey okay so i want to share this with you guys so the first chakra okay is the root chakra which is located down here if you can see right and is known for survival and security and it governs um, areas such as the kidneys and um, intestines, sexual organs, and it is represented by the color red right here, okay? And it's also associated with earth, and it's associated with our foundation and feeling of being grounded, <clears throat> excuse me, and it connects us to family, our tribe, and our belief systems, their belief systems, and our identification with the physical world, calm and stillness, direct connection to earth because it is associated with um, earth, um, and our survival ability to find food, shelter, and money. Okay, this is what the um, root chakra um, is all about. And that is the first chakra, is the root chakra. And like I said, it's located way down here, you see? <clears throat> and that is associated, the root chakra, and the male with uh, the testes and women ovaries, okay? Now, any imbalances of energy, hey Carmela, hey Nikki, hey Lucy LaBoy, hey Michael, thank you for joining in. Michelle, what's up Michelle? Thank you for joining in, sweetie. Nice to see you on here. Um, so any imbalances to the energy of the root chakra can set a stage for illness, physical, emotional, and spiritual. And I work with all. I work with the spiritual, emotional, and physical body um, during my healing journey. And 
I'm sure all of you know already my healing journey, my story. I, I suffered with lupus for many, many years, and I was able to heal my body in two years with holistic therapies, nutrition, and all these other things. Um, you can uh, hear my story on YouTube or on my website. I want to get to this information. I don't want to keep everybody on for too long. Um, plus, my arms... It hurts my wrist, so I want to get this done really quick. So I'm going to explain this to you. So like I was saying, any imbalances to the energy of the root chakra can set a stage for illness, physical, emotional, and spiritual. And as you know, we're not just physical beings. We're also emotional and spiritual beings, okay? That's something we got to remember because we live in this physical world and we forget that we are also um, spiritual beings living in a physical world. Okay, so the health and emotional dysfunction associated with the first chakras imbalances are immune related disorder such as lupus remember i mentioned that kidney disease hey victoria thank you for joining in um cancer rectal disorders and tumors anorexia obesity okay i'll do that i'll, I'll work on that and then i'll do that for you um hey C cindy thank you for joining in um Issues of survival, such as money, shelter, food, financial independence, allergies, depression, chronic lower back pain, um, stress, anxiousness, restlessness, joint pain, like in autoimmune diseases, sexual difficulty, infertility. Hey, Louis, thank you for joining in. Um, elimination problems, such as constipation, um, autoimmune diseases. Okay, when the body attacks itself, such as in an autoimmune disease like lupus, there are root chakra imbalances. The body gets a destructive message from deep within. Okay, I'm talking now on a spiritual, emotional level. Hey, Victoria, thank you for joining in. Nice to see you here. God bless. Um, such as, um, it gets a, a message from deep within itself. Mental depression has been associated not only with self-destructive behaviors, but with depression. Hey, Missy, thank you for joining in. Um, but with depression and the immune system um, functioning, many women with autoimmune diseases also suffer from depression. Um, I don't know if you are so uh, familiar with Dr. C uh, Christine Northup. Um, she stated that begin any necessary healing of this chakra. Um, experiencing any painful memories of childhood or survival issues, releasing them and forgiving. So if you're having issues um, with your root chakra or anything that deals within that area on emotional and spiritual level, this is what you have to work on, the root chakra. And I'm talking about autoimmune diseases is, is a big one and the other ones that I mentioned before. Okay, so the next chakra, the second chakra, which is a sacral chakra, is known as the second chakra, and is represented by the color orange. And I'm going to show that to you on here. Let's see, right, where is it? Right here. Okay, that's the color orange right there. Um, and that is known as the navel chakra. Okay, and I'm going to talk about that. Now, the color is orange, and it relates to our need for relationships, partnerships, um, and community bond, bonding and immediate family, personal ethics, and morals. It is associated with the elements of water and is located just below the navel stretching. Oh, okay, Sandra. Well, we'll, we'll walk, you and I will work on that, Sandra, when we start working together, okay? I'm planning to do chakra work with you because I know you need it. Um, also, it is associated with the element of water. And like I said, it's located um, below the navel and by the lower abdomen and right below the ridge, rib cage. So it is our ability to accept others and new experiences Hola prima, como estas, Grisel? Um, relates to our need for relationships, community bonding, strength to recover from loss of finances, family and partner, creativity, bringing projects, um, developing individuality. Okay, that's uh, the second chakra. Um, going on to the third chakra, which is one of my favorite chakras because... Um, 
I'm very intuitive and I, I always say I feel it in my gut and that's when I'm talking about my, my solar plexus, which is the third chakra, which is the solar plexus and it's governed by the color yellow, which is located right here, okay? And that would be the adrenal glands, pancreas, solar plexus, okay? That area around here, the gut, our intuition, Okay, it is associated also with the element of fire. The third chakra relates to self-perception, self-esteem, self-worth, self-confidence, caring and honoring you, expressing our personal power and feel a fa failure. And in this chakra, we learn the polarity of opposites. We develop into individuals and relations with the opposite sex are developed here in this chakra. Also, how we understand ourselves in relationship and in our external world. Yeah, that's the solar plexus, sweetie. That's our gut. And I always say, and I always say this a lot to my best friend, I'm like, I feel it in my gut. I know it's not right. I can't do this. And that's your solar plexus. Your gut is telling you. That's your intuition. Okay, so when you get that feeling, listen to it. It's your intuition telling you not to do this or to do it. Okay, very important. And when you're not feeling that, it could be that you have an imbalance in that area. So the next one is the heart chakra, which is up here. And the color of it is green. Right, where is it? I can't see. Oh, right there. Okay. And... The fourth chakra is all about the heart, which is also known as Anahata. And it's symbolized by the color green and the air element. And it is tied to the ability to be compassionate, of course, because the heart. Loving and forgiving. Belief in the divine emotional expression. Okay, and this is what it's associated with. I, when um, I was sick with lupus... It's funny because I always said I had heart issues, that I had a broken heart. And, um things from my past and that I carry that with me and of course I let that go once I did the spiritual emotional healing and I worked with the chakras but it just so happens that of all places that the lupus attacked it was the heart of all places since then I've corrected this um imbalance I no longer have any issues I actually corrected and reversed my heart issue as well as um my issue with lupus I'm doing great. I have no symptoms. They cannot find the illness in my body anymore. So know that healing, you can do healing. Healing is capable. The body can heal itself if you give it what it needs on a spiritual, emotional, and physical level. Anyway, the next one is the throat chakra right here. And the throat chakra is represented by the color blue, which is here. Okay, folks? Now... It is not associated with any element, the throat chakra. Um, it is associated with the irrational energy state. When it's working, it should allow you to speak your truth, okay? You mean Reiki? Yeah, I do Reiki too, but that's not, that's not what I'm talking about today, sweetie. Um, <laughs> um, so it allows you to speak your truth. Connection with divine energy effective communication, creative expression, higher intellect, speak from a place of wisdom, okay? When you work with your throat chakra and it's working correctly, you're going to speak from a place of wisdom and it's direct connection to spirit and self-expression. I'm sorry about the lighting here. The lighting here is horrible. I was trying to do this earlier, but I couldn't get on early. I was having some problems with my internet. Um, okay. Third chakra, the throat chakra. Health and emotional dysfunctions associated with the throat chakra. Hey, Phil, how are you? Um, are chronic sore throat, like laryngitis, thyroid problems, thyroid cancer, inability to make decisions, over-talking, not expressing, addictions, lack of willpower, repetitive throat clearing, when somebody goes, <clears throat> <clears throat> that could be that they have an imbalance in their throat chakra. Um, and like I said before, um, it could be, um, throat cancer as well, an imbalance. Okay, now the third eye, which is located here, folks, right here, okay? Um, 
that is the next chakra. Hey, Jocelyn, how are you, sweetie? Thank you for joining in. The third eye is the sixth chakra, or known as the brow chakra. It is represented by the color of indigo, and it is associated with the image energy state. Makes sense, right? Our direct connection to wisdom, our ability to focus and see the big picture. Yes, you should try to open your third eye, uh, Sandra, especially if you're working more on a spiritual level and you're on your healing journey, you really should. I'm always constantly working on my third eye. Um, it is open, you know, but sometimes I have imbalances and I work on keeping it open. It's also good on a spiritual level as well. We can handle it. Of course we can. The body, the body is amazing. Physical, emotional, and spiritually. And we'll talk more about that, Sandra. When we get together, we will talk more about all these things. Okay? So the third chakra, like I was saying, it's our direct connection to wisdom, our ability to focus and see the big picture, intuition, um, imagination, alertness, balance of brain activity, charisma, um, visualization, and focus. And health and emotional dysfunctions associated with the brow chakra or the third eye is erratic OCD behavior, second guessing the inner self, fear of outcome, inability to act or tap into our divine guidance, overthinking or block thinking. These are all associated with an imbalance of our third eye, headaches, sinus issues, visual uh, distortions, cataracts, okay? These are just a few that I'm naming. There's other stuff. I just want to name a few things. Now, the last chakra, which is the seventh chakra, which is located up here, up here, right? And that is associated with the color violet or white or silver and is... Thanks for joining in, Lawrence. And it is connected to our spirituality and directly aligned to divinity, universal energy. Um, spirituality comes into the human body and mind through the crown chakra. It is responsible for our direct connection to God, to divinity, inner guidance, sense of purpose, blissfulness, um, highest state of consciousness, living in the present moment physically and spiritually living in the present moment okay on a physical and spiritual level um our faith um being filled with grace letting go of illusions peace and healing harmony and willpower and the health and emotional dysfunctions associated with the crown chakra if you have an imbalance would be migraines um uh when you get migraine headaches um, a loss of self, loss of identity, um, issues with your nervous system, muscular disorders like um, MS, you have these um, a nervous system disorder, muscular disorder, spiritual abandonment. <laughs> okay, Sandra, you're funny, you're a trip. Um, brain tumors, skin disorders, mental issues, fear of success, and, you know, people who are religiously fanatic, they got something going on with the crown chakra, uh, uh, a dysfunction there. So, there you go, folks. This is a brief overview of the chakras. I'm in the process of creating a chakra program, and I will post that on social media and on my website for those of you who are interested in finding out more about the chakras and that program and being a part of it. So, if you like this video, Please, by all means, share it with others. Maybe they'll get something out of it. Maybe they'll learn something new. Um, you can follow me on Facebook on my business page, which is Yvette Laboy Coach. On Instagram, I'm One Holistic Diva. On Twitter, I'm Holistic Gal. And on YouTube, um, my YouTube page is Yvette Laboy. So go on there. You'll get some really great um, videos on health and wellness, on autoimmune disease lupus um recipes i have some um cooking videos there as well 
Um, also, I'm releasing my ebook, which is Healthy Holiday Recipes. I'll be releasing that next week. It'll be on my website. I will post it on social media, the link. Um, if you're interested in that, by all means, you'll be able to buy it and download it. It's not going to be expensive. I try to make everything affordable for people because I want to get out there and help people in a bigger way. So those of you who know me and have worked with me know I am this way. Hi, Jolando. Thank you for joining in. Anyway, um, like I said, if you like this video, share it with others. Um, I am Yvette LaBoy from YvetteLaBoy.com at Yvette LaBoy. We inspire women to get healthy and transform their lives because we want you to become that fabulous diva you were born to be. I'll see you at my life next live chat, which might be tomorrow. I'm doing a live chat on lupus. Um, and I'll be doing that tomorrow. And I'm also going to be doing a live chat on the gut as well because this is stuff that people did ask me to do and someone just requested that I um, do a live chat on on diabetes so I'm gonna do some research on that to make sure I give you guys the right information um, because I like giving the right information to all of you but anyway thank you for joining in tonight Mwah. love you all take care good night and I'll see you soon bye